This is ASTM D as in David 4491 permittivity of Gia textiles. We have a, a non-woven and a woven textile here, and we like to. We're interested in the cross-plane flow, the flow perpendicular to the plane of the Gia textile. You run that on a permittivity device. This was originally developed by Dave Suits, Mr. ASTM in D35. Uh, for New York DOT, and it was adapted into the standard, one of the first standards for Gia textiles. You need a uh, specialized water. This water is uh, distilled, uh, excuse me, is uh, de-aired water, and it has to be de-aired down to uh, 6 ppm. You can do that in many ways. We do it by uh, running it through an aspirator, packing media, and then this is under a uh, significant vacuum uh, to... Uh, Create the water. To check the water, you typically do that off of a, a probe, an oxygen probe, or you can do it uh, off of uh, Kelmets. Uh, these are ampules, and these ampules will change color calorimically to give you an idea of where you are in regards to uh, dissolved oxygen content. This is down in the neighborhood of uh, four or five. So we're good to go. The samples are typically set up. This is uh, the house of the material. The samples have to be soaked. You want to uh, remove any uh, surfactant off of the material if it was generated that way. We'll do the non-woven material first. This is our sample holder. We place the material in. Please realize we cut a uh, three inch diameter uh, specimen but uh, the holder is effective only uh, two inch in diameter or uh, 50 millimeters. You house this in and this clamps it. Big item now is to back saturate this so you get all the air bubbles out. Um, the air bubbles are difficult to uh, remove. You can see the bubbles coming through the material here and uh, it's important to get them out of there. Uh, the air will uh, stay in the interstices of the geotextile and subsequently reduce the flow. So uh, we're taking the air out of the material now. You see it, the bubbles coming up, and we're just about there. So this has been back saturated. Uh, the material you would like to get the uh, air from out from underneath the uh, specimen, any place that it's there. And we subsequently will move this in. So air out. You want a manometer top and bottom. And this will give you an idea of the head. We will be running this at a constant head. So now we introduce uh, flow. Uh, you have to initiate flow. And uh, this is the upper manometer here. And the lower one is controlled by this rocker arm. And this flow is pretty high. This is uh, 50 millimeters. And you would like to control this. And this is the difference here across the two manometers. Now what you need is a stopwatch and a graduated cylinder. Uh, start time. And stop. It, uh, for this particular one, we uh, have about 1,000 uh, milliliters in about seven seconds. So this is the uh, non-woven. Now you need to uh, change out the specimen for the woven. We have a, a woven specimen uh, which has been soaking. This is the woven specimen. Place it in the uh, holder. A 
Again, back saturate it. So it's in tight. Again, back saturating. Make sure your manometers have no air in it. And we've back saturated. Now the flow. And this is a rather open uh, woven monofilament. And uh, it's going to be an extremely high flow rate through it. Okay, so we'd like to see the uh, cross plane flow. And that's pretty much it at 50 millimeters. Again, 1,000 uh, cc's. And uh, 1,000 cc's, we have uh, four and a half seconds. So this is the flow rate across. There's a couple of other things that you need. You need to have a uh, temperature. And this temperature is uh, by a thermometer that's just in. We typically have it at 20 degrees C. That uh, gives us a no uh, viscosity correction. In addition to that, you typically run an internal reference material. Somebody that's done yeoman's work in that regard is a fellow by the name of Rich Lacey at TRI. Uh, it originally started out with a 200 sieve, but the flow rate is extremely high through this. Then he went to a, a perforated plate, and then finally to this metal plate with known uh, openings. So this is the internal reference material so that you can control this apparatus with respect to time. So this is ASTM D4491, permittivity of geotextiles or cross-plane flow.